Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, thanks again for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art, that's the guy in the upstairs box up there. No. And I are with our fabulous and wonderful love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrica. Great to see you again, Michelle. <laughs> Thanks, John. Hi, Art. Good to see Hi, you. Hi, Michelle. Both. Hey, I have a question. Um, from time to time, uh, we're in, a, let's say, a, a group, and somebody says something that, at least to me, appears to be really off the mark, really uh, beyond politically incorrect, where I think it was pretty offensive. Uh, and I don't necessarily want to call them out in public and embarrass them because that's probably not going to uh, get the desired effect to at least bring it to their attention. Uh, do you have some better ways of ha handling it? Yes. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I, I love that noticing because we've all kind of seen this, been in a situation, right? Somebody does something or says something and you know, you get that sinking feeling and you kind of cringe and you look around and what do you do? And oh my God, did they just really say that? And so there's this awkward moment, right? And um, we might think, well, you know, what do you do, right? Oh, you could say something right in the moment. You, um, you know, you call them out and you kind of use your critique of their comment um, as a way to maybe even possibly shame them into better behavior. And it just, it ends up being a pretty messy and unpleasant situation, right? So it doesn't go well. So the, the alternative to that is actually to call someone in. And that's a different way. To call them in instead yeah. of call them out? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. Now, calling somebody out is, uh, is usually criticism. It's usually, and, and this day and age, particularly with online criticism, it's often nasty. And in public, um, hurtful, uh, calling someone in, I would think would be the opposite, G giving them, putting them on notice somehow, but doing it in a, what, personal manner? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So basically what, um, you know, it, sometimes you just let it go, right, in the moment, and that might be the best thing. However, you can always circle back to it, right? So that's what I kind of think of as calling, and this is not my own concept, right? It's been around for a bit, but... The idea is you're kind of having, you know, bringing some patience and compassion to the person and you're finding a private moment when they're available to talk and for you to share how that comment or their behavior impacted you. Yes. So it's really about your own response to it. Like, you know, uh, you're not trying to like, you know, shame them. You're not trying to like, well, they should behave this way or, you know, this is not considered okay these days. You know, you're not trying to like educate them per se, even though. Obviously, maybe you are in a way, but you're actually just bringing your own discomfort to to be, um, you know, revealed to them. And so they can know about this and know their impact on you and others. So, um, yeah, the way you do it really is you kind of, uh, you know, like I said, find a time to talk to them privately. Ask them, can I bring up something that happened recently that I heard you say that was uncomfortable for me? Is this a good time? And so, you know, I think I've had we've had other videos about having a difficult conversation. It's always good to have a premise before, is this a good time? And, you know, no, I'm actually in the middle of something. If we do it later, yeah, great. So find a time when they're available for this. And then you basically said, you know, when you said, and, and try to use the exact words, because we don't want to say when you made that racist comment or something, like that doesn't really help them. It's more like when you made, when you said, da 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 yeah. I felt comfortable and I felt embarrassed and, um, it doesn't feel good to me when people are, you know, marginalized in like this categor categorical way. And I also notice other people looking away and looking down. So you're basically kind of sharing what you notice both in yourself, perhaps others. And then you're basically saying, you know, I just, it would have, I wish, um, I just wanted to bring this to your attention because it's something you might want to be aware of. And so they might, you know, make some excuses. Oh, it wasn't that big a deal or whatever. And it's like, you know, I hear what you're saying and, and you can stand firm in what you felt. So you're basically, you're still standing with, I was uncomfortable with it. I just want you to know that. Yeah. So you're, you're saying, um, first of all, I, I know from experience that it's, if you really care about uh, correcting something, 
you don't necessarily do it in public. That that's right. sometimes counterproductive. You know, it's it's just shaming, it's embarrassing, and it doesn't usually solve the problem. It it, it gets often a, re, a defensive reaction as opposed to correcting the situation. So if you really care about it, um, you'll do it in private, as you're saying. But you're also mm -hmm. saying that instead of just saying you were wrong, you're you're making it. Here's how I felt. Instead of you did a bad thing, you were wrong, you shouldn't do that. It's I felt this way, other people felt this way. You might want to you might want to rethink it, that kind of in other words, you're not putting the onus on them, you're bringing it up to them, but not making them defensive. Yeah, so you're bringing it up in a kind of a more gentle way and a kind of a softer way, really. And so yeah. You know, I like to, the word should, you know, like we're not shooting on them, you know, that we're shitting on someone, but shooting on them. We're not doing that. And, um, you know, it might actually be true that, you know, most people would consider that to be offensive, but that's yeah. not your, that's not your main intention. You're bringing it to them from your own experience. And if they care about you and, you know, this could be someone that over time, if they're continually doing this kind of behavior, you might choose to, you know, have a little less contact with this person, right? So it's sure. kind of like, it is sort of like, it's bringing some, like the relationship that you have with this, but you know, you wouldn't do this with a stranger, right? Or you might, but that's a little riskier, I would say, but then you might do this with your uncle or, you know, somebody's new boyfriend who's new to the family or whatever. Yeah. And just, um, hey, you know, uh, yeah. just so you know. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to, uh, have some kind of relationship that will allow you to speak that frankly to somebody. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you're really out of line. Well, actually, uh, actually, I think well, it's been very valuable for John and myself because we might be able to schedule a couple hours a week uh, talking to each other about what bothers us about one another, <laughs> that probably behavior that we should change. And uh, this way, uh, although we, we don't mind dumping on each other in public, so <laughs> maybe for us it works. No, but yeah, uh, uh, calling somebody in, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a cool concept. So they're out all the time. <laughs> yeah, and I actually like that you're bringing that up too, because, you know, sometimes you see a couple doing this kind of like, it's kind of, we call it someone's airing dirty laundry. It's like, yes. you know, you kind of criticize your partner in the moment in a public, it's just like, it's yucky. It doesn't feel good for everybody. But you pull it later, it's like, you know, when you made that comment about the woman's dress, you know, how attractive, it's like how attractive she looked in it, whatever, let's say. It's like, I don't think it would, it was kind of a, it just, people felt uncomfortable when you said, you know, whatever, it could be something small, but you, it's like a way to educate each other with kindness. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, let it, let the, person decide what they want to do with it. But one of the things I love about the calling in is that in the moment, you don't have to do anything, but it get, it, it sits in there often. So later, you know, you circle back. So yes. basically, I feel like if we did more of this, um, our culture would change for the better and we'd have more peace because we'd be kind of helping each other bring in more compassion and kindness towards each other. Sure. Well, it, what you're describing is, in fact, um, being kind to somebody, you know, you obviously care about them and what they said. Yeah. And, and that's why you're raising the subject. Yeah, you want to but point it out to them for their benefit. Even though it bothers us, you're calling something out for their benefit so that if they're not aware of it, uh, you're a person who became aware of it. Maybe you're wrong, but did you ever consider that this might be offensive? And if yeah. so, they would appreciate that. And other times they might not, but at least you haven't embarrassed them in public. Yeah. Yeah, and the other cool thing is that you get to feel more in integrity with yourself, because this is a big one for me, because when I don't say anything and I don't even circle back, it like, am I, do they think I agree with them? Do they think I'm mm. colluding with them to have the same opinion? And so it kind of sits like as an irritant in my own personal integrity and yep. even other people too. So it's like, oh, I get to feel complete in our interaction with that, with my interaction with that person, including my non-response, because I come around and I say what I feel like I need to say. And um, 
there's peace in that just for me even. Well, Michelle, I love, uh, it's a new word for me, a new phrase, calling somebody in. I have, yeah. I have never heard that before, but I do like the concept and I think it's great advice. Um, for me, I'm, I'm kind of reducing it to criticize with kindness. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Or even great. feedback with kindness, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, good, great. Good, I love that. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.